Cheers. Good morning guys, it's your girl Irene Styles. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and clicking on this video. Of course, if you're returning, I appreciate you guys always supporting me. You know, in the last video I told you guys that I'm gonna try to do more like vlogs or whatever. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be a spend a day with me. And let me tell you from now on, my life is not exciting. Well, it won't be that exciting for Uno. But my local life, my local life, nice, right? So yeah, that's what I'll, I'll be up to, whatever I'll be up to. Today is Sunday. So Sunday usually mean getting child ready for school and when I go see same ear stuff, I'm just not here throughout the day and I'm have to talk on you that one time. Um, yeah, it's gonna be usually me preparing for work, but I won't be going in the office tomorrow. In Canada here, we do have a holiday or we recognize a day called the Day of Re Reconciliation. You guys can read on it. Um, so a lot of institutions and a lot of... Let so me tell you, I'm not here because I'm over there driving Karen Aguan. So, Father. Anyways, so the Day of Reconciliation is... Um, it came into effect, I believe, three or four years ago. It's just like... Um, a way to uh, like acknowledge um, some things that happen to a particular community. That's all I'll say, but you guys can read on it. Chaz, stop the noise. So anyways, I essentially am working from home tomorrow. Usually I wouldn't work, but I chose to work. Um, so I'll be working from home tomorrow. So I, I don't have to prepare work stuff. Last night I did a quick refresh. Honestly, I didn't film it. <laughs> and no in retrospect, I should have. So this morning when I got up, I just basically straightened up a little bit here. I cleaned yesterday, so it's not much to do. Can you believe my Bible machine? I was so excited. I had the virtual round head, which is you, the more expensive one, right? But it was bigger and I've had it for a while. So I was like, more new things. And in the whole notion of getting new things, that's why them say if it not broke, not fix it. Because not never wrong with my machine, my eye just red. My eye just red. And I got the new machine, and the first one that I got in June, it load, it load like truck. I don't know why it's so load. It's so load, but the have to carry it back. You know, the 15 day period, I have to carry it back, right? I get another one, and it was working and whatever. But then it would start brewing my, my pod and then stop halfway. So it's either wasting my pod or I'll have to be starting it over, plugging it out and whatever. So it annoyed the frig out of me. Anyways, I called them. We did a little test test, two to that, that. It did a work for a little bit. Then it got right back to the ugly sound, the ugly everything. I just called them this week and said, listen, I'm not troubleshoot nothing more than I'm not out of time for the foolishness because this a pissed me the hell off because I never did have a bite in the first place. But I'm enough. It's so my fault that. But I need them to come take this. I need them to come take this and sort it the hell out. So, well, I never say it to them like that because. If you know anything about Nespresso, you know that their customer service is always like nice. So you can't be rude to people who are nice to you, but the undertone of it was that I'm over this. Okay? I need to go start my day, and because I have a couple of things to do, so with the day, with the day of reconciliation, I need to go up on the road, go get an orange shirt for Chaz, because that's a color that they need to wear, and that's not a color that I really buy. It's not a color that I buy. So I don't have, even though I'm not orange. So we need to go get an orange shirt, just a basic orange shirt. And I also wanted to stop by H&M to see if there was anything in store. And then when I come back after I made dinner, everything, Brady's gonna leave for work. 
it's gonna be me and Chas for the rest of the day. I need to wash his hair and comb his hair. So last week, he got to, go to school with a ponytail all week. This week, I don't have the time for that. So I need to sit the hell down and comb him here today, which I'm not gonna say that's gonna be a task. But before I start my day, I've been starting my day with Magic Mind. So I've been taking a shot of Magic Mind. So if you didn't watch my previous video, I spoke about trying out Magic Mind for the first time. Now this week, I've taken it a number of days. I've done a day with it, a day without, a day with it, a day without, to see the difference. while at home so I'm gonna see how my body reacts as you can see I just drank the entire thing it tastes amazing so you don't have to worry about the taste I'm just trying to figure out you know how my body reacts so I got up this morning went to the gym but because I was taking my pre-workout I didn't take it at that point in time so yeah I'll give it a few more days and give you guys my honest honest thoughts about it so this bag was sixty dollars. Dang, it's cold out, y'all. But this thing, this is good stuff. You got the, you got the diapers, you got the milk. It's the fact that it's not. seen a difference in my focus and productivity um, to me though the difference isn't too distinct or too obvious there are some days when I don't drink it and I extremely crash and there are other days when I drink it I still feel a little bit lethargic after a certain point but I don't crash so I know the other days it was it was it was better than not drinking it at all so it helped to boost energy focus crush procrastination elevate mental clarity it's only 21 calories and it has a lot of good ingredients nothing bad that you have to worry about it's just matcha green tea um ceremonial grade that is organic agave passion fruit natural vanilla beetroot um and potassium sorbate that's all it has as it relates to ingredients but you know it has b b12 b um, vitamin d vitamin b and whatnot so this is what it looks like i love that and to add it tastes really nice Use the code STYLES20 to save 48% on your next subscription for the next 10 days. All right, your birthday is coming up. I get my present. You get present? Yeah. What do you want to be for Halloween? A uh, ghost. A ghost? What kind of ghost? A spooky ghost. Ooh, a spooky ghost. Okay. Um, show me four fingers. Okay, count them. One, two, three four and Chaz is gonna be four good job high five anyways I'm gonna make breakfast I'll be right back So I just got done getting dressed. I'm about to go to the mall, a small one, to see if I can get the shirt for Chaz and look what's in H&M. So this is the outfit, very chill. I didn't want to do my hair. So I have on my trusty hat that I got from Winners. So the top is Brady's Closet from H&M. The shorts are from Zara and then the little bag is from Cummins. I'm just gonna throw on a basic pair of sandals and that is the outfit my necklace is from Ana Luisa earrings sheen bracelets bracelet Ana Luisa 
and the scent is um, Autumn Vibes by Mason Margiela. So that's a look. We're about to go. I've been putting off returning this coffee machine and I have to get it done. And I have to get it done today. I believe the post office closed at three. It's best for me to return it now because it's almost 1.30. And if I don't, then I'm gonna have it sitting on me and I need to get my coffee machine back. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Um, and then head to the mall. The first thing I need to ensure that I get the orange shirt, like I can't just forget to get the orange shirt. I know me, Mo get sidetracked with other things and then literally forget what I actually go there for, which is the orange shirt. Everything else is just added bonus. I need to get the orange shirt. So let's head to the post office and then to the mall. Come on. I'm gonna need enough for hold me accountable for ensure that I get stuff done that I need to get done. So let's jam to some summer walker. Yeah. And just like that, drop off, done. Now, it's time to go to the mall. It's so nice out today. Like yesterday was so chilly, but it's way nicer today. So yeah, let's go way, way nicer. top which I really like I feel like it has a nice little structure um, I love the gray I'm wearing a size small I would probably get a medium just for the sleeve length but I'm not too bugged about that I really like the like fit that it gives here the buttons are not too gaudy I think so yeah I like it so this is an 8, which I think is a, a way too big. I still have on the shorts, and as you can see. So I like this type of skirt. I just feel like I need another size. Definitely not this size. This is this size is just too big, but. The dark blue. Yeah. So this is the size four, and this is more like it. I, I keep forgetting that I've lost so much weight, but this is a size four does come with pockets still gives the flare effect not too tight on my waist as you can see there well it's not tight at all um still gives the vibe just way more comfortable i still have a ton of space inside so yeah i actually really like this now i have this oversized jacket that is the same color i'm gonna try those on these people are just talking too loud, but anyways, they are not the same color, um, but I like the jacket. This is what it is, but I wouldn't wear this together, of course, but this feels like it's quite warm. It's a good fitting jacket. This is a size small. I could go a bit more oversized or I could stick with the small, but yeah. I'm not mad at this jacket. Now, do I love it enough to get it? I don't know. But that is it. I'm going to try on the last piece, which is this trench jacket and the see. Now, this is a crop trench, which I like. It's not your regular like trench fabric. I would say it kind of has a cottonish blend to it. 
but I like how it's kind of like oversized. It fits me like right at my waist. This is $49, so the price is quite good. Sleeves aren't too short. I don't have on a top underneath, so yeah, but you can obviously button this. You can just wear it open if you had on like your top underneath. So yeah, again, this is $49 Canadian dollars, so not a bad price. Crop trench and the fabric feels a little bit better than your regular trench fabric. So and if you watch my last videos where I'm talking about trends, trench or cropped anything, it's definitely in season. So now I need to decide if I'm gonna get any of these. I'm not wowed. If I would get anything, it would probably be this top. But H&M is having a sale online and I'm a sale girl. They are having 20% off. So if I'm gonna get anything, it'll be online. But yeah, let's decide if we'll be getting any of these. back home and I had to make dinner I was so hungry so I made a nice little homemade taco bowl yeah and then this is like cranberry sparkling water so I'm gonna just make it nice and fancy in my glass mm -hmm. cheers so right now I'm gonna eat my dinner because I'm so hungry I'm gonna eat a shark right now and then use a cow and wipe my mouth but I'm gonna watch TV so I eat and watch TV and then we can talk later and talk about the things that I saw in H&M and also Banana Republic because I felt like Banana Republic had some good things. I mean, Banana Republic is not cheap, but the outlet, yeah man, you get some nasty nice deals. No, H&M, they're full of nasty people. I couldn't even focus, but I'm going to talk about what we're seeing there. And then, yeah, but I, a long and short, I bought nothing. You know what, I left empty handed, only the orange shirt that I went for, that's all I got. So, I'm gonna eat and then we can chit chat. Let's chat about the things that I saw in the mall. I did end up going into HomeSense, didn't really get anything. So yeah, so I got the orange shirt, don't think I showed you that. But I did try on this full leather midi skirt. This is what it is. This is originally $59.99 and right now online they're having a C. So I tried on the size four. I could either go for a size four or six. Now my thoughts on the skirt, really, I really love the skirt. If you're in the market for a long, like A-line style skirt, this is a nice one. Like not ankle length, it's definitely a true midi skirt. And I feel like for the price, it's not bad. I will say though that if I can fit a size 4 it means it runs large. Next up that I saw is called the Button Detail Cardigan and of course again I will link it in the description. Now I tried on a small which is perfectly fine by me. I mean the sleeves could be a bit longer but yeah if, if anything and I want it to be a little bit less fitted sleeves longer I would say go for a medium. I would say it runs true to it runs true to size um in my opinion as it relates to length and size so yeah and then i tried on the leather jacket which is a link in my life to know it because i always love that i felt like for the price 
that jacket could not be beat like i think the jacket is like 59 or something crazy like that and it's very thick it's very weighty i think i'm gonna end up getting it for myself so that was the one that i tried on and i tried it on in a small and the small fits online they don't have it but this short trench comes in a number of colors it comes in black it comes in two different type of denim and i didn't feel like the quality for what it's worth was bad at all but yep those are the things that i tried on from h&m then i took a walk over to banana republic and guys like i've always gone into banana republic factory and be totally stunned like i've always been stunned because the factory the quality the pieces are still the same it's just that the prices are of course way cheaper than the actual banana republic store so i saw this suede trench in two different colors but the color that i liked was the cognac color and it was 200 and something dollars i think 229 but with 40 percent off so you know that would be a little over over 100 dollars for it so i thought that was a good deal but i couldn't think of if i needed it or not and then i saw these suede boots but they had no size for me because if they did have my size i would have grabbed that today so it's seven o'clock just to kind of like backtrack and recap on the magic mind again i feel like it gave me a level of boost and like energy that i need in the pivotal times throughout the day and i also have a discount code which will be linked there as well so yeah give magic mind a try i really feel like you guys would like it because i'm liking it so far and there are some days that i don't want to drink caffeine at all and these are the days when i feel like magic mind will help to give me the boost that i need <sighs> anyways I'm gonna chill for a little bit and then we go do our skincare and all of that and call it a night, a night, 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 okay?